In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to set up a battle.net API client so you can start making API calls to the battle.net services to get game data for your add-on or application. In this example app I'm showing here is a classic Armory web app I built using the World of Warcraft classic APIs to fetch character data. So you can see I have like character gear, uh, character profile image, uh, appearance, runes, talents, all sorts of stuff like that. But this should work for any Blizzard game like Hearthstone, Starcraft, uh, any sort of API there. Um, cool, so the first step here is creating your client. So to do this, you need to go to develop.battle.net slash access slash clients, or just do a Google search of like battle.net client, it should come up. Uh, once you're there, you can select this create client on the right here. From here, you just need to enter a unique client name. This has to be unique across all battle.net clients. Uh, and then for the redirect URL, you only need this if the user would be logging in via battle.net to your application. So you could also leave that blank for now. Uh, for the service URL, this would be like the URL of the service that is using this client. You could just uh, leave this blank for now, um, and then always update that later. And then for intended use, you could just write like fetching, you know, WoW character data or Hearthstone data, whatever you're, you're using the client for, and then hit save. Uh, so once you do that, you should have a client ID and a client secret here on this page. Um, I'm not going to show the secret, but if you hit show secret, that will appear. The, that will be needed to get the access token, and then you could start making calls to the Blizzard API. Uh, for rate limiting, there's 36,000 requests per hour, and then 100 requests per second. So now that we have our client ID and client secret, we can start uh, hitting the Blizzard API. So here I just have a simple TypeScript file that is using the node, just built in node fetch to uh, first get the access token. So for that, you need to hit this HTTPS oauth.battle.net slash token endpoint. This will be a post request, and within the body of the request, you need to pass in grant type equals client credentials, and client ID equals your client ID, and client secret equals uh, the client secret from the previous page here. Uh, once that response is complete, uh, in the JSON response, it will have a field called access token, and you want to grab that as it will be used for any call you make to the Blizzard API. This lasts for 60 minutes, so you can continue to make requests up until 60 minutes, and then at that point you need to make uh, another uh, request to this oauth.battle.net slash token endpoint to refresh the access token. Uh, cool, so once we have the access token, the uh, we can basically just start calling any Blizzard APIs. Uh, here I'm just call, uh, calling the classic WoW US API for a character on Feralina, and I'm hitting the specializations endpoint. And so this will return me like the talents for this character. Also adding for query params, the namespace is profile classic US, that's just indicating you know, classic WoW on the US servers. And then I have locale as en underscore US. This just returns the response in English versus returning the response in all languages. Cool, so I have a simple uh, express uh, a server setup where it's just calling the endpoint and then displaying what is returned. So here we could see it's fetching uh, the specializations for this character, so like talents, you could see like master of elements, uh, burning soul ignite and this matches like what I'm displaying in the um, application here um, and you can basically just call any endpoint there's a lot of detailed documentation on the develop.battle.net slash documentation uh, route which basically goes into detail of like what parameters you need to provide for each API so for like if I want to get the equipment data I do slash equipment if I want like appearance data I can do slash appearance um, and it's pretty detailed. It will tell you like, oh, you need, you can additionally pass namespace, locale, all sorts of stuff like that. And I'll just showcase uh, fetching a season of discovery character. So the difference here is namespace changes from profile classic to profile classic 1x. So I'm gonna be fetching the equipment for a character on wild growth here. So this character here, um, let's see, I'll search for sniper training. That's a rune that they have equipped and that should show up. Yep, so that shows up here. Um, yeah, and there's all sorts of other um, endpoints you could hit, like specializations, achievement statistics, character media. I'll try character media here. And this will um, basically output like a URL for um, the character image here. So if I hit this, yeah, we get the character image. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, once you get the access token, you can basically just hit any uh, Blizzard API for up to 60 minutes, and then you just have to refresh the access token. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.